know more about it, but the fact of the matter is we live in a society where airplanes are becoming bigger. So we'll have a little bit of a difference of opinion. See what you think. 617-254-1030, 888-929-1030. Come right back on Night Side. Night Side with Dan Ray. The News Watch never stops. WBZ News Radio 1030. I'm meteorologist Mark Rosenthal, and by now you know I'm a true hair fanatic. I love wearing my hair long at 63. So what you're hearing here is WBZ in Boston, Massachusetts, from uh, on this old American 5-tube receiver, which is all warm when I actually touch it. So it has five tubes, glowing tubes, and it's funny because I had the idea tonight that, hey, well, you know, I'm going to use my uh, Texan loop my Texan loop to uh, see if it works well with tube receivers. So, okay, no tube, no um, no loop, okay? This radio is actually very insensitive. Look at that. It's on 1030 WBZ, not hearing a thing. And it's typical of the, the, the receivers at the time because today we have receivers that have loop ferrite antennas that have hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, turns of wire on the loop, and it makes them sensitive because of that. And, yeah, the circuitry, transistorized circuitry is very sensitive today. Uh, this one, it's kind of a big, um, I would say it's some kind of a um, oval-shaped uh, kind of uh, thing where there's maybe, I don't know, I don't think there's more than 100 turns of wire on it. So it, it receives, I mean, the local stations come in well, but the stations uh, that usually are the U.S. stations I hear at night on easily on a, a portable receiver, it most of them don't really come in very well on receivers like this one. But if I take that loop, and you see it makes a difference. I can actually tune it. You can see here if I tune it. And of course, the best thing you can do is actually put it right there in the back where it will couple really well with the uh, with the radio's uh, antenna. So let's just uh, retune the, 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 the antenna a little bit. There we go. And of course... So uh, this is kind of fun. Sorry here for the move. So it's a lot of fun to see that the uh, more modern and, and kind of cool uh, loop antenna from Texan, the AN200, actually works really, really well with uh, these American 5 tube receivers. So uh, 1030 WBZ. It's kind of nice to see uh, these old receivers work. Airplane noise, and uh, there was a story that we picked up today uh, out of Duxbury where a group of people, or at least one individual down there, is pretty upset. Um, I didn't realize airplane noise was that great on the South, south Shore. Um, if you're on the South Shore, particularly love to hear from you, Chris is not on the South Shore, he's in Denver. Denver, Colorado, which has a huge airport. Hi, Chris, how are you? Hey, Dan, it's been a while um, since I've called in. I hope you've been a well. while. We've been very well. Say hi to Nancy, the um, the producer of this show. Chris is one of our favorite callers. Oh, yeah, the one kind of liberal naysayer that likes to chime in. Well, you know, we, we, we have plenty of, well, hold on for a second. We have plenty of liberal naysayers. Last year, we had John from Chelmsford. We have lots of liberal. And by the way, I don't think it's nice with me. me. No one yells that they're all nice. We we encourage everyone, Chris. You go right ahead. You're more than welcome. And all we like to have as many liberals as possible. In fact, liberals make sometimes better callers than conservatives because we can disagree with them. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, that's true. Um, did you remember flying to the Stapleton Airport in Denver in the 80s? Yeah, they're throwing it back. So obviously, like this debate um, goes back to the Hilton. 